Welcome back, everybody. Derek Sue, your 2022 Oakland Mayorial candidate. Well, today I got something a little different. I want to talk about some of the lists that uh, us uh, that are living unhoused here in Oakland, we get onto different housing lists, we're referred to different housing lists for affordable housing outside of the different programs that are currently run by city and county of uh, Alameda and the city of Oakland. So I don't participate in any of those particular programs, uh, but I have uh, before uh, signed up to a lot of different uh, other housing agencies. One of them uh, back in 2019, it was a brand new construction uh, that uh, was underway and it was uh, run by Axe Full Gospel right here in East Oakland. And I was encouraged to apply to that, which I did. Uh, and so there they are right there. And this, this is a follow-up. And so uh, when I got on that list back in 2019, it was late spring, I ended up in the lotto, even with the advantages of number one, a senior, uh, number two, uh, chronically homeless, uh, three, limited income, uh, and then four, I had uh, also disabilities. So that still landed me at number 1,032 on the wait list for housing. So that essentially told me pretty much no chance of getting housing through that uh, means. And, and that wasn't the only agency that, that I applied to that year and uh, years uh, prior to that. But this is one of only about 10 that I've applied for that is doing a follow-up. And this is two years later now that they're, they're sending out this notice. What this notice is, it's asking me if I want to stay on the wait list of theirs for an affordable apartment. And so I'll show you what it, yeah. Here's, here's the paper, you can read it. So they're, they're wanting to know if I want to continue waiting on the list. Uh, you know, I'm sure my number is uh, slowly uh, winding its way through the system. Uh, as far as where I'm at, I have no idea, but I have to, as you saw in there, I have to uh, get this turned back into them to continue to stay on that particular list. If I miss the deadline, then I uh, fall off the list, which is typically what happens to a lot of the housing list here in Oakland and Alameda County. So people start falling off the list because number one, uh, their mailing address changed or uh, they're no longer even in uh, Oakland, the city, or, or anywhere even in the county or they may be deceased. So there's a lot of different reasons why um, folks uh, don't get a follow-up or do the follow-up uh, uh, mail, but I do. And so anyway, I stay on the list. Uh, I want to work with some of these uh, agencies to see what kind of housing that they're willing to offer. So anyway, this puts me back on the list. Like I said, this, this first time was two years. Now with this one, we're going to probably add another couple of years at least. And so yeah, chances of, of folks actually getting housing, uh, living on the streets is pretty slim. And, and then reestablishing contact uh, to a lot of the folks that did fly and, and they were trying to reach with this kind of notice if they want to stay on or not. Uh, it, it probably doesn't, uh, reach about half the folks that originally applied because they more or less, as soon as they got the letter like myself, they gave up hope because 1,032 here in the city of Oakland you know, on that particular housing list. And then I've been on other housing lists where I've even been, been in the 3,000, 4,000 number categories. And so uh, getting housing off of those lists. And th those were bigger agencies that, that had much more housing available and, but the sad part and the downside to a lot of uh, the affordable housing that becomes available here, somebody has to die. And so typically, um, 
senior housing, you're going into a place where if they didn't die there, that they were going into assisted living for their final days. So essentially they are dying and that's how the room became available. And we're going to start seeing this more and more these days because right now uh, the greatest generation ever, uh, they're pretty much have, uh, uh, they're nearly extinct. And so there's there's very few of them left, and then the next one that, that came was my generation, the baby boomers. And so uh, I've already lost a number of friends uh, starting at age 50 um, that that I grew up with, and you know, things happen, life goes on, and so uh, we're going to start aging out. And as we age out, more housing, more uh, apartments, more of everything is going to become available. Unfortunately, the thing that isn't going to become more available is money. And so we have to find new ways to cut costs and expenses uh, to help the next generation. So anyway, um, thanks for joining me today. Uh, getting on to housing lists, you know, five years, 10 years, 12 years into the future, you have proof now want to come see it, you're more than welcome to come see it in person. Thanks for joining me today. We'll be right back.